All right, man, Jared is dropping us in on Louisville. This is gonna be fun. He's actually, it's his last day up here from Austin, Texas. Keep on cruising back. Go on ahead. We're just getting started, y'all, making our first few casts out here on Lake Louisville. We're starting off on the old dam. It's a popular spot. We've seen a lot of people just already hitting the bank over here. Rocking the boat life today. What do we, we did the kayaks yesterday. Comfort today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfort today. <laughs> Living the life of luxury, he says. We, we're taking out the hot tamale, you guys. We're both throwing uh, some decent size swim. Well, what are you throwing? The Rising Sun, or you switched it up? Well, Jared's throwing a six inch DRT tiny clash. Check this guy out. Look at that flash, man. I mean, he's going to smoke him. And then I am trying to not twist this boat around with the trolling motor. I'm throwing the uh, mission fish, y'all. I think I got like the seven inch on here. It's just a white color. Jared actually turned us on to this bait and we have been catching some fish on it lately, man. And this uh, white or representing shad coloration will absolutely get smoked here. I just gotta get in front of the right fish's face. So let's have at it. This is the bait, by the way. It's just got that weight in the nose, so sick. You just work it like a jig or a Texas rig. You can swim it too, it's got a good kick, but uh, typically I'm just letting it fall as recommended per Jared and uh, some other people who I've seen fish these and it just kicks on the way down and you just pop it and he just kind of scoots along the bottom. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh my God. Get on him, bro. Get on him. There we go. You got one? I was about to say, dude. I'm gonna get one too. Oh, they, oh, they're just moving down the bank. They're feeding. They're moving right on down the bank, dude. This is awesome. Oh, he came off. Turn the ship around, Weston. Get up here with me. One's chasing it. Really strawberry bubbly? Yeah, what is it? It's, it's strawberry, strawberry bubbly? Yeah, strawberry bubbly. So the first thing you'll do is trim the motor down with the button right there. Good boy. Yep, that's good. Cool. Now, just turn the key and release it. Yeah, you're good. Pressing and pulling. Yep. yep. Yeah, there we go. Woo, Captain J. <laughs> <laughs> taking on some water. That's a lot of weight to hit bottom. Yeah. Okay, guys, so in an unforeseen turn of events, uh, these poor sailors have beached themselves. It is extremely shallow coming off this point, and that sailboat is literally stuck right there, not going anywhere. I mean, they've been there for, we've been just kind of drifting in this low wind for five, six, seven minutes, and they are completely stuck at the moment. Kind of wishing them the best of luck, but I don't really know how to help them. Literally, they were heading right towards us. Yeah. They looked like they were going to hit us. Yeah. Whenever we were going through that area right there, they were like just kept drifting closer and closer towards us. We're just going slow on the trolling motor. They're probably a few white claws deep. They just got into it, you know. They it's trending. Celebrating today. Yeah. Cool. Retirement celebration turns into sunburn. Look at this, man. That's dope. Y'all didn't tell me the first Starbucks was in Texas. I thought it was up north. Imagine having a coffee right there. You got the trees, the lookout over Lake Louisville. Starbucks yeah. founded in Texas. Don't get mad, guys. I know that is incorrect. Probably why we haven't caught any fish, because we ain't fishing. We're live scoping. We don't give a damn. We're playing video games out here. Y'all got the new Garmin, too. I didn't even know that was out yet. With the master update. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the button. <laughs> okay, y'all, we have made a move. Check us out. We are in one of the many marinas here. We are flipping the tires. We're going to see if we can't get us a little something, something. It is about 16 feet to the bottom. I'm still throwing that bigger mission fish bait. Like, oh. <laughs> Dude, I thought I just got a bite. Wow. As I was throwing the mission fish, I switched over to the Texas rig right here that you see, but it's still 15, 17 feet right here. This guy's falling pretty slow and I haven't got any bites on it yet. As we approach these docks, I really want to start uh, cranking this jig. So I'm gonna throw the gridiron half ounce just to kind of get down there. And it's got a crack and crawl trailer, black and blue, just because I've it's not crystal clear here. This is gonna definitely get munched. YouTube, this is the one. We've literally hit 100 of these and I haven't said this is the one yet. So I'm gonna work this extra slow. Summertime, good depth, cover, shade. Wear them largies. What up guys? So we're about to make a move. We came into these boat docks. We were flipping mission fish. I think Weston was throwing a jig. I was trying some glide baits. Heat of the day. We're gonna move off to another spot that a friend had recommended that he has been on fish. So we're gonna go give it a try. We 
we've made it over to the main dam. We hit the old dam earlier today. Anyways, we've been here for a minute. It's now 2.15 in the afternoon and we're thinking this is the money zone, dude, because we're seeing fish on the graph for one. We're seeing plenty of bait, but literally it goes from nothingness to like 40 feet right below the boat. So any depth they want to hang out on along these rocks. If we don't have any luck here soon, I think we're going to switch lakes on y'all to a nice clear water spot with a ton of grass, reeds, pads, everything we know and love. And, we, and I know we'll get on fish if we do make that move, but we're trying to go for a true big water hog out here. So let's see what we can't put together here at the dam. All right, y'all, we're switching things up. I've untied the jig and I'm tying on a worm for the first time today. It's a big, heavy, shaky head hook. I think it's like a strike king or something. This guy's a little torn up from previous adventures. Ain't nothing more raw than a slim shake. And let me tell you this, it's got some scent on there, boy. Y'all can save up to 30% on just about everything I've been throwing today at Carl's Bait and Tackle. In case you were wondering, if you weren't because I haven't been catching fish, that's absolutely fine too. But it's nice to know I'm not just spending a ton of money and not catching fish, you feel? By the way, to save that 30%, it's almost like a Costco membership. You gotta sign up as a club member to get them juicy savings. That does apply to the new Guggen Squad raw that are now available for pre-order so don't screw around get on it ladies and gentlemen okay worm is rigged and i'm about to catch me some fish boys uh, wonder how many resident fish just leave live in that square and never leave and like feed on those columns all day in the rock never been never. caught <laughs> oh so do not enter meets everyone oh. wow that should get munched I saw taking that time, dude. oh my god all right Louisville, it's been fun we about to make a move y'all we trying to get on them out here today we're going to small water small water quick pit stop much needed oh my gosh <sighs> you're telling me and look she hooked it up the coffees from morgan um yeah the lady behind the register let me use her discount because it was a uh, happy hour that's what's up bogo all right let's get to the second lake Let's go. Can I get a rebate, man? It is round two. We are pumped. There he is. No way. Yep. No way. Yep. Boat flip, dude. Boat flip only. Don't be a two pounder. Don't be a two pounder. Don't be a two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. Yeah, buddy. Get in the boat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh man, that's that's a deal right there, y'all. Look at that battle shad 7.5 flashy swimmer. 10 aught. Mm -hmm. Doing the dirty minutes yes. in all day. Comes down to this. Whoo! Make a little switch up. Make a little switch up. Right off the bat. Oh no. We rigged the white 7.5. There one? No, 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 I gotta see what else we got here. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. This one's just the way you like it. He's been munched. We're gonna see if we can't get us a bite or two. Thing creeps through the grass like no other. Jared is rocking the same thing for the moment. Boom. The truth. Dual white cities. Hold on just a doggone minute. Rocking the chatterbait tonight, man. I'm going budget for y'all tonight. Check me out. This is the original. Skirt's falling off and everything, man. Bait's hardly staying on. Skip the double bait hook keeper. Who needs it? That's for those jackhammers people wasting their money on. Color match blade, who needs it, man? I'm rocking the silver tonight. Skipping it. We going original on them. Jared's about to throw the secret weapon, y'all. Ooh, that's good grass right there. That's the type of stuff I should be catching fish in. Oh, God! Boat flip! Is he tiny? Or is he huge? Oh, he's actually very good. He's actually very good. Oh, he's actually good. <laughs> oh, it's dessert time. Oh it's dessert God. time. <laughs> Smoking him on the grass. Oh, golly. Get you some dessert, baby. Yes. Oh, man, that color isn't even available on the Friday drop, is it? Nope. 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 Get you a little silver. I got so much sunscreen in my eyes. What is happening? If I could size up one more time, that'd be great. That'd be, hey. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Big bait time. Kind of been throwing them all day, but just saying it again. I like repeating myself. Like right when it hit the water, dude. Yeah, I think so. It's a landing on its head. Wow. <laughs> Give me some dessert. Oh my god. Boat flips only, please. Do you have them pinned? Did you did you set the hook good? Nope. 
<laughs> Dude, the six inch cities. Them citizens. Getting munched oh on. Oh my goodness. He been getting smoked, boys. I'm I am contributing. I'm contributing with words tonight. Yeah. Oh. Boat flips only. This is fourth fish. He said he's already he already said he's gonna sit down and flip it. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, another size of bull. Another donk. <laughs> what is going on tonight? What are we at? Like four, eight, uh, 12, six. Dude, we're at 60. We can, 20 pounds. We we're coming 20 up on 20 pounds. We can come up on 20 pounds. Oh my God. All right, guys, man, it has been an absolute blast. Jared is heading back down to Austin after this. We're going to make a few more casts, but we're going to let the four that he's caught go right now. Not bad for a tiny hidden lake out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, big congrats to the swim bait king over here. All right, go ahead and get your fish out of the well, man. Appreciate you taking me out here, Weston. We had <laughs> a good time. <laughs> yeah, dude. Boom. Thank you for showing me how it's done. <laughs> Some fatties. What were you throwing to capture these beasts? This is all working class zero, citizen six, and a white 7.5 battle shad with Ins underspin. Insane. Cruising. Down to the deep. What a night, man. Let's make it our last few casts, and then we got to load this thing up. He's got to make the trek back down south, and what a blast it has been. Let me showcase the base that we've been throwing, actually, this evening. This is the white 7.5 Battle Shad with the underspin. Very nice. And on this side, this is the moneymaker right here, always. Mm -hmm. The 6-inch Dessert Tan Citizen. Crazy man, absolutely <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. Coming out here throwing only swim baits. For the last 233 days. For, for the last sure. 233 days, he's been fishing every single day. You guys gotta check him out. He's linked down in the description. He's literally out fishing Austin, Texas waters like crazy. He made the trek up here to come fish with us and we have had an absolute blast as you guys know. I didn't link up with anything today. I didn't even get a bite. <laughs>